Yeah, that's a situation I'd rather have Cavalcade or something. Not Shattering Impact. I think I would have died in that first volley. I have been trying Surgical out on Bolter. Kind of going for a more like sniper playstyle with it a bit, I guess. Oops. Let me click. It's good. I mean, it obviously doesn't have the raw screen clearing potential. Bolter has in the past, but... They did nerf pinning fire, so it's not the same anymore. Significantly less power than it used to get. It was OP before. Be very sneaky. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Reaper. Dude knocked himself over with a barrel. All right. Let me get healed. Try and make a push. There's definitely going to be a horde coming soon. I'm not going to be able to get them before that. There hasn't been one for a while. Spawn director was all like... Definitely been some nerfs to Bolter's playstyle, especially in, in regards to ammo efficiency and obviously the stagger, pinning fire, and all that power you used to get. With volley fire, it still feels real good. Use the corners to cut off the fire's line of sight here. Hopefully Flamer comes in and I can chop him up. Devil Sword feels great right now. We're all right. Maybe I should be wasting grenades like that. Managing a horde is just fine. Crit chance. I need to back up because the trapper. Bring it out into more open area where I can dodge. You do not want to be in a hallway with a horde when the trapper comes knocking because it'll fire through the pox walkers and you don't have any room to laterally get out of the way. Sometimes you gotta give ground. We can take it back. That feels good, man. I can do that without a red dot site, but weapon customization mod is a nice little touch for sure. Down the stairs, get some frags. So we're throwing down the hallway here. I have two bolt rounds left. And I think that's gonna be just enough. I 
I'll lock him down. You should have him in the back a few times. He should bleed out. Give me some ammo, please! Okay, I guess I'll take names. I must grin and bear it. Easy. Oh hell yeah! Well, this is over. Oh my god, my frames. Oh my god, my frames. That's probably still over. I'm two feet away from a demon host! <laughs> oh my god, there's so much stuff up. Would love to, homie. Would love to get you up. If I had one nade, I'd, I'd be able to. Oh. I gotta reload. Mm. <laughs> I tried. Alright, check this out. See how that costs like no stamp? But when I blocked that second attack, just regular blocked it, it was like 60-70% of my stam gone. But the overhead cost like 25 stam to parry. If you time that right, the stamina cost is like minimal. You won't even notice it. And you stagger them back. Really good. One of the most important things about Couch Hand Sword now. Parry is actually worth using. The worst versus overheads. From crushers, which obviously would normally break your block instantly or one shot you if you're not blocking. stuff yeah, full auto's not quite as good as it used to be but that might be partially just because I mean it is not as good as it used to be but it's definitely partially due to my bolter if you want to be more precise and snipe and kind of chain your volley fires I think surgical is worth using now But if you want to go full auto and just kind of clear the screen, pinning fire cavalcade together is probably the play now. And then you can skip shattering impact maybe. And instead just get 
get all the rending talents on the vet tree. You have less ammo to work with now, though, so I don't know if I fully recommend that. Kind of a good thing, though. It means there's just more ways to build Bolter now. Jesus Christ, Jason Moore. What the hell are those jukes? My lord. This is my favorite sound in this game. <laughs> Maybe costly miss. I love this weapon, dude. Afraid of my power. Isolate targets. I'm trying to think of maybe I want to go unarmored instead of maniac. On this bolter. I mean, Maniac is nice for sure, but. On those masks where you get a bunch of drags? I've been noticing it's harder to get those one shots. Especially outside of Volley Fire. Maybe a war value from Unarmored? I don't know. Maybe you have to play around with that in Psychonium. It is definitely harder to chain now. Even with the reload. Okay, well, that parry didn't work there. Keep your ult going with um, counter fire. Even with the reload talents. Because you don't get the instant reload anymore, right? So you basically have to be reloaded before you start volley fire. I'd say Bolter's still in a pretty fine position. With all the other power creep going around, I could maybe receive some, a few more buffs again, but I don't think it needs anything substantial. Very much usable, still incredibly fun, satisfying. One of, if not the best renditions of a bolt gun in any 40k game. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> Definitely less mindless than it was before, too. I mean, shattering impact tier 4, pinning fire tier 4, 
before the patch. It was just infinite ammo. Full auto every time a horde comes. Everything on screen dies. Not not the most skillful thing. Now you gotta think a little bit more. Now you gotta aim. Which is why I've been kind of gravitating towards surgical in that crit chance. Aim down sights. A little bit more precise. A little bit more ammo efficient. But you can still go full auto when you need to. Fine red mist. How can this place be so full of evil? Execution warranted. Uh. Why are things not highlighted? I just fell through the map. That was all. Oh, that was weird. And this is bad. This is fine! You've got to be kidding me. Oh. We're not out of this yet, but this is about as bad as it could possibly get. If there's a spawn, it'd be worse. Eat me. Just do it! I want to be in your intestines right now, beast. This is my new home. I love it here. It's warm. It's cozy. I can feel Papa Nurgle. It's called GG. It's not GG! It's never over. Fine. This is fine. I can't see. I've got diarrhea on my face. All right, GG. <laughs> oh my God, man.